There's unrest among the UAW's union within the union. Tonight, some are claiming President Sean Fain isn't working nearly as hard for the people who helped him win those national contracts last fall. Last fall, of course, UAW President Sean Fain made a name by his aggressive frontal media assault against the domestic three automakers. And one of the biggest issues that he had with them was the tier system. Workers making lesser money for the same work. Well, tonight, Local 4 Business Editor Rob Maloney tells us of brewing anger within the ranks, saying Fain doesn't live by the same rules he expects the automakers to follow. Strange twist, Rod. Yeah, it is, uh, Devin and Kimberly. You know, it's a situation where, yes, it is a union with a union. It's the staffers who helped negotiate that contract last fall with all of the domestic three. But now they're in the process of negotiating their own contract with the union. And they're saying, hey, if it's OK for the domestic three, it should be OK for the union itself. I'm going to file it in its proper place because that's where it belongs, the trash. Sean Fain made his bones blasting auto executives for their greed. We want to end tears, and, and tears are where you have workers on the line doing the same job uh, for severely different rates of pay, and there's no excuse for that. And yet, there's trouble brewing at Fain's Solidarity House in Detroit. Some of Fain's closest colleagues, who are also employees at his side along the river, and members of the so-called staff council, say auto executives now treat line workers better than Fain looks to treat them. Bargaining team members who don't want to speak on camera tell Local 4 that they're in the process of deciding whether to approve a tentative agreement negotiated with UAW management. We are told it's leaving many cold because the tentative agreement offers a three-year progression to top pay, something Fain refused to accept for the rank and file. In fact, they say, Fain's proposed new contract also adds more classifications that could lead to top pay immediately upon taking the job when others have to wait. And they're deeply concerned about new and tougher disciplinary rules that could lead to a quicker termination. Now, Sean Fain's staff had this to say about all of this, quote, the UAW is committed to equal pay for equal work for both members and staff. That's what we negotiated in the tentative agreement. This breakthrough contract that includes technical and specialty employees who weren't previously covered by the staff council agreement. So the membership is now voting on this as we speak. The deadline for that comes up in mid-April. Devin, back to you. Well, Rod, did the union comment specifically about the progressions in the new contract? Yeah, it's a bit of a semantics thing here, Devin, because it's it's uh, either tiers or progression. They're claiming there are no tiers in this contract, but they also also said they've always had a three year progression to top pay. One of the things that Chad Wurzel, who helped uh, negotiate this tentative contract, which is right here, said that it's they have to negotiate in the best interest for the current membership as well. Yeah, fascinating stuff. All right, Rod.